And back home, the central government in all likelihood will dissolve the controversy-ridden Medical Council of India. Sources say a seven-member panel will be announced to oversee the functions of the Medical Council of India. As uh, the council is an autonomous body, the union cabinet is preparing to bring in an ordinance to amend the old law governing the council. Last week in the Rajya Sabha, there was a huge uh, uproar over the controversy. <laughs> Health Minister Gulam Nabi Azad was asked why he was not taking any action against Ketan Desai, the sacked, tainted chief of the top medical body. Azad has requested uh, the law ministry to help uh, in the meantime and proposed to dissolve the council. The cabinet had, uh, in, fa in fact, discussed this yesterday. Now, the disgraced uh, Dr. Ketan Desai was in fact arrested on corruption charges by the CBI on the 22nd of uh, April. He was arrested for allegedly accepting a bribe to give permission to a Punjab medical college to recruit a fresh batch of students without having any re requisite infrastructure. He has already submitted his resignation to the Medical Council Vice President, who has since forwarded the resignation letter to the Health Ministry. Well, I will say, even Ketan Desai is not at fault. He is the scapegoat of all these power, power brokers in the country. And the biggest power brokers are still sitting in the government today. And they are the ones who are trying to cover up and hush up the whole thing. It seems, looking at the whole situation, that the, what now is happening is, government is trying to do some cover up. What, is, what I, we can see is not there. And what we can't see is there. So the, it is the response, moral responsibility of the uh, health minister of India to first resign from his post. And uh, NDTV's uh, Tanima Biswas now joins us uh, for more on uh, this story. Tanima, this whole uh, controversy has really, sh uh, you know, shaken up the whole medical community. We know the government is now looking to dissolve uh, India's apex medical body. What are the implications of this? That's right, Bani. In fact, the Medical Council of India has been in the forefront of a lot of activities, especially in the academic front as far as the medical fraternity is concerned. As we all know, it is the body which is supposed to be giving out licenses for hospitals to recognize them of sorts and also to give out license to medical practitioners across the country. So it is a huge deal for it to be dissolved. And as you were clearly mentioning, of course, it is not that easy for the government to dissolve it. They are of course, keeping an interim body of se a seven-member committee which will be looking into the functions of the MCI in case it is dissolved. But there is a, it is a long process in itself. An ordinance needs to be filed. And what we are hearing, of course, that the petition has already been presented uh, over to the cabinet. So they are going to take a decision on it. But uh, it is a long process. And meanwhile, they have come, uh, come up with a seven-member seven -member team of expert doctors who would be looking into the functions of the Medical Council of India in between to give out license to, licenses to the other hospitals and medical practitioners. All right, uh, Tanima, many thanks for joining us with those details.